Hello, my name is Jeff Williams, speaking to you from the orbital outpost we call the International Space Station. Space explorers are drawn into the heavens, but it seems once we get here, our attention is drawn back to Earth. This unique vantage point brings an endless panorama of natural beauty and awesome grandeur that is found in the world below. Our national park system is often called America's best idea, and from low Earth orbit, it's not difficult to understand why. Many of the large-scale parks are easily seen from the space station. Their rugged beauty and unspoiled terrains reveal a geographical landscape as diverse as America itself. And the smaller parks, although often unseen from space, are every bit as significant and crucial to the overall landscape and time scale of American history and culture. My affection for the national parks began when I was a child. My father, a high school history teacher, was also a seasonal park ranger for the National Park Service and he would move our family from Wisconsin to Wyoming in the summers where he served at Devil's Tower National Monument. While living at Devil's Tower and several times in subsequent years, we traveled to some of America's other majestic parks, including the stark badlands of South Dakota, Montana's spectacular Glacier National Park, and the magnificent Yellowstone. It was in these parks where my father encouraged us to explore the world around us, learn from it, and gain an appreciation for all its wonders. The national parks became a classroom. A generation later, I followed in my father's footsteps and introduced my own family to the wonders found within the parks, visiting not only those experienced in my childhood, but many others, including the Grand Canyon, Sequoia and Kings Canyon, Yosemite, and other historical parks in places like Boston, Massachusetts, and Washington, D.C. The National Park System reveals some of the very best that America has to offer and reflects the democracy under which it was developed. In many ways, it is a centerpiece of Americana. From its inception over 100 years ago, the National Park Service has grown from one park, poorly funded and threatened by other interests, to a vast system of protected national parks, monuments, seashores, wildlife preserves, recreational areas, and historical sites spanning over 84 million acres. The first park, Yellowstone, was in fact the very first of its kind in the world, a national park established exclusively for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. From low Earth orbit, I've had the unique opportunity to observe and extensively photograph a number of the visually prominent parks. Denali National Park, which cradles its namesake, the High One, also known as Mount McKinley, at over 20,000 feet, a mountain so high that it creates its own weather system. Overwhelming in scope and beauty, the Grand Canyon exposes a majestic gash into the earth up to 18 miles wide, a mile deep, and an incredible 277 miles long. The Grand Teton National Park provides us with one of the most striking mountain ranges in the world rising above the valley of Jackson Hole. The National Mall in Washington, D.C. and its own spectrum of unique sites and memorials gives preservation to our culture and the history of our great nation. The enormous Wrangell St. Elias National Park, which includes nine of the 16 highest peaks in the United States, where glaciers and volcanoes lie side by side across a 13 million acre landscape and rivers of ice flow into the Gulf of Alaska. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, where active volcanoes produce rivers of molten lava and ecosystems range from fertile tropical forests to barren deserts. Death Valley National Park, one of the lowest, driest, and hottest places on Earth with the surprising beauty and grandeur of its own. The Crater Lake National Park, featuring a distinctive lake formed in a collapsed volcano. At approximately 2,000 feet deep, Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the United States with arguably some of the most pristine water found on Earth. As a young boy, I traveled with my father to Isle Royal National Park, 
containing the largest island in Lake Superior. My memories of that trip include the presence of moose, wolves, and large lake trout off the pier. The Apostle Island National Lake Shore, a collection of 21 islands located in northern Wisconsin on the shores of Lake Superior, known for their historic lighthouses and offshore shipwrecks, as well as ancient sandstone ice caves and abundant wildlife. The National Park System is truly one of America's greatest ideas. These unique and diverse parks, monuments, and historical and cultural sites have made a tremendous impact on my life, as well as the lives of my family and millions of people across the globe. Their contributions to America cannot be overstated. They provide a source of recreation, relaxation, education, and inspiration to countless of individuals. They also preserve and protect America's most beautiful natural landscapes and cultural history. As an astronaut, one of my favorite efforts supported by the National Park Service is the Night Skies Initiative, which focuses on preserving areas within the national parks that are devoid of artificial light so that people may appreciate and learn about the miraculous cosmos surrounding us. As John Murr once said, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. On the centennial anniversary of our National Park Service, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate those who serve in it, as well as those who support it and enjoy its benefits, and express my sincere appreciation for educating and inspiring this and every generation. Your stewardship is preserving a critical and integral part of America and American culture. And I encourage all present and future explorers to take this incredible opportunity that is available to you and your families to find your park, explore your park, and most importantly, to support your park for the next 100 years and beyond.